So the next definition that we need to know about is the mortgage statement. The mortgage statement is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a statement of the borrower's mortgage, and it's going to include pertinent information for you as an investor or someone who wants to obtain ownership of that particular pre-foreclosure. Why? Because it tells you exactly what is owed, how far the borrower is behind, and whether or not the borrower had their taxes um, escrowed into their principal and interest payment. Okay, so that is very important. So this is a dummy mortgage statement. It's not an actual mortgage statement, but it looks like one, right? So let's take a look at it. So we'll see here the mortgage statement um, here where it says statement date. You're gonna make sure that this is the most recent date. Why? Because you don't want an old mortgage statement. An old mortgage statement is not going to have the current up-to-date numbers on it. So here is the um, this, this statement date. You would make sure that it's the most recent statement date. Um, and you'll also verify that by the payment due date because the payment due date should be up to date. It should be, you know, the month of the month that you're talking to the borrower, that should be the payment due date. Here, the amount due, that's going to be the total amount that the borrower is behind. So let's talk about that for a moment. If the borrower is behind several thousands of dollars, that does not mean that the mortgage company will not negotiate with you regarding the property. That can mean several things. Some borrowers are not good communicators, which means they didn't call their mortgage company. They didn't try to work out an arrangement. And it may not necessarily be because they're not a good communicator. It could be that they just don't have any income coming in and they just don't want the hassle of hearing about how much they owe. So they did not call and try to negotiate that amount. So you need to speak with their borrower and you need to make sure uh, you need to determine what the relationship is between them and the lender. Have they tried to work something out where they put on a modification agreement? Did they, um, did they um, you know, uh, terminate that agreement? Did they not uh, pay as agreed? Because if that borrower has not worked out anything with that lender, then there's a great opportunity for you to get in, modify that mortgage payment, and have that particular home deeded over to you and there you go, you, you own a pre-foreclosure. So let's talk about this mortgage um, statement a little bit more in detail. We have an outstanding balance of 151,000. It shows us their interest rate of 4.21%. It shows us when the loan is supposed to be paid off, September 1st, 20, um, September 1st, 2032. It shows us all of that. Look, it's, it also shows us that their taxes and or insurance is escrowed. So they the um, when they were making their payments, the taxes and insurance were actually included in their payment. So um, that's a great thing. Now you're still going to need to call the tax office to make sure that they you know that they are current on their taxes. However, if the lender is escrowing the taxes, then um, you know there could be payments due to the tax office. So you just wanna make sure that everything um, is caught up and that you're not taking on an additional liability that's way over your head, okay? So in this particular scenario, let's say that the borrower did not work out anything with the mortgage company, did not call the mortgage company. Um, you know, the mortgage company, um, you know, they're open to negotiate, then this is gonna be a great deal for you because you can actually go in and have them take all of their arrearage everything that's owed and put it at the back of the note and you can you know um, negotiate with the borrower to take over that mortgage and I'll show you how to do that um, negotiate with the borrower to take over that mortgage and that way you you have a home you have a you um, you've obtained ownership of a foreclosure okay of a pre-foreclosure